L is for the way you look at me. O is for Hi, the Hi, my name is Kim McCosker and welcome to Cooking with Kim where we save you time and money in the kitchen because everything we make is made with just four or fewer ingredients. Now, southern fried chicken, an American classic and this dish I have done with an Aussie twist. It's very, very easy. And all I took was two cups of all-purpose flour or plain flour and seasoned it with sea salt and pepper. And to that, I want two and a half teaspoons of powdered Chinese five spice and one generous teaspoon of chili flakes into a plastic bag. And then we just want to shake it around Mix it all up, and that is a really nice seasoning for Aussie-style southern fried chicken. You could probably season flour with a variety of herbs and spices, and just the basic salt and pepper, and it'd be just as nice. There we go, all mixed. And we're just going to add or dust or dredge our chicken pieces in our seasoned flour. Now, chicken fries crispier when soaked in buttermilk. It is more juicy and it is more tender. So I've had my chicken pieces on the soak for at least four hours. And all we want to do is get some tongs and dredge each piece into our seasoned flour mix. Now, my chicken is all seasoned and well coated, so just into a tub of heated oil. Now, I used peanut oil because it has a, sm a high smoking point. And we're popping in our big pieces first. The last of my big pieces in a pot of boiling peanut oil. Now, I use peanut oil when I'm frying because it has a higher smoke point. And with my big pieces, I just want to stir every now and then and fry them for approximately nine to 10 minutes. Okay, the final touches. Remove your chicken onto a baking tray. And then simply Pop into a moderate oven to finish it in there for about 10 minutes. What is it that they say about southern fried chicken, that it's finger licking good? I can concur. And if you've enjoyed looking how to make this recipe, learning how to make this recipe, then log on to Facebook. Join us because we want to make your life simpler, easier and tastier in the kitchen. I'm Kim McCosker. This is Cooking with Kim. See you soon. L is for the way you at me O is for the only one I see V is very very extra